This is what it looks like when you get a shipment from Amazon that has to deal with all the electrical that you're about to install. The main thing that I'm worried about is, of course, the fan for right now, but I'm, I'm definitely going to include the fuse bus for um, the eight different uh, potential uh, positives that I'm going to need for the 12 volt system. But this way I can hook up any wires that I need to. I've got any of the fuses I'm going to need. I've got a negative bus bar. This is obviously for fuses for the positive. This is what I'm going to use to attach these two guys to the inside of the seat. The weight with these guys with 18 gauge wire is not going to be that big a deal. This is going to come off my charge relay and the auxiliary battery and go to the positive bus bar which is going to be for the fuses and then go to the the 12 volt pieces then this is going to be going to the ground that's in the middle of the seat go into this so then all my negatives can come here and terminate and ground off into the van and so I just kind of got a bunch of different colors because that way I can kind of play with the idea of making sure that I color code what I create and if I run out of wire I can just order that color and if not then I've got extras. Uh, this is kind of a lot but in the long run I figure hey you know what I'm always looking for these and then just going and buying a little five pack from Lowe's so instead of that or Home Depot or whatever instead of doing that I got a bigger kit a bigger pieces for fuses because it's just good to have these guys with you on the road so this is the very beginning of what I'm going to create the small electrical system with auxiliary um, batteries from Adventure Wagon's auxiliary battery kit on the 2007 Sprinter. Make sure you pull that <laughs> when you're working on the electrical first so you don't kill yourself or hurt yourself in uh, an unsafe way. Yeah, just a little bloop, and then pull her off. Ish. A little hard to do with the left hand, but you get the idea. And now you can work on the electrical. Two GC2 batteries from Costco. They were $94 a piece. So what is that? We'll call it 190 bucks plus tax plus the two $15 core charges because I didn't have used ones to bring in. And tax brought me to about 230 for these guys. Now again, um, the, we're, we're not really going to be going off grid too much you know we're gonna be doing little two and three day trips so these guys should last us a pretty pretty good amount of time um, without too much load going on them but at the same time we've got a 12 year warranty with Costco and interstate batteries great purchase uh, get them installed and show you all the process right here you're looking at the adventure wagon auxiliary battery kit tray whatever but so you just get the metal part if you only get the tray but if you get the entire kit you actually get the fuse and the whole wiring harness that comes that goes into the van you can see that there and everything that's going to attach to the to the negative of the car so you can ground it there if you're wondering how awkward it is to get that battery in there I would just like to let you know that it is very awkward and voila both batteries are in now to hook up some wires. Got a little Texas blonde over here helping me with this battery install. I have the tray all buckled up. These are really the only two bolts that you're gonna use for mounting the batteries to the tray. There's a couple other bolts used to mount the tray to the sprinter. But this little tab section you see here is kind of tough to figure out. So you've got to hold it up and dip this kind of top part onto it and then drop it down and then get these uh, this guy to align here with their little river nuts that they've got installed that you can put these in without cross threading anything so now we need to uh, find the right nuts get the wires who got the positive to the positive negative to the positive and then negative to the vehicle boom the Adventure Wagon kit comes with all the cables you need for the auxiliary battery tray and wires, but I'm an idiot and cannot find them from a month ago when I installed the tray kit. So I went to O'Reilly's Auto Parts and found the cables that I need to put all the batteries in line and connect it to the charging relay. So here we go. So I've got the neutral grounded to the vehicle and then kind of cleaned everything up with some nice big zip ties because I bought something that was a little bit longer than what I really needed 
But again, that's where stupidity costs money sometimes. So don't lose the wires that come with your kit. This is what happens when stupidity kicks in and you lose the three cables that come with the kit. That over here was the fourth cable, which was awesome. There should be three more. So I went and picked up two uh, short, uh, longer guys. Obviously those are too long. I just zip tied them to make them work. And then got this terminal connector here for now. Connected for positive, so fuse, just to make sure. I will show you where this cable goes into the car. Boop, boop, through the firewall, you can see it back there. And show you that from the inside. But right now the car starts and nothing is sparking nor catching on fire. So that we will take as a win. Here is the fuse panel for the Sprinter. So. I am going to remove the seat so that I can have access to that section from the top. And that is where I'm going to put my fuse box. My fuse box will be probably a little bit more that way. Uh, it would be great to have easier access. I just don't know where to get another one of these. Maybe I'll find one down the line and uh, be able to put another one right here and just hook all my stuff up that way so my fuses are really easy to get to. Ingenuity or stupidity? We will soon find out. After some trial and error, 11 millimeters fits just fine. And even though it's not a, a star type of socket, you can actually still use the 11 just fine on that guy. So, but it is one of the more open uh, stars. So there you go, that 11 works just fine. And the driver's seat is off. So there's the charging relay that we installed originally with the battery kit. And that is side A to that goes to the auxiliary battery kit and then that is from the house battery or I'm sorry from the starter battery to the house battery so there's the charging relay after getting all of this hooked up I'm not really that happy with it so I'm definitely going to be relaying it out or laying it out differently once I do figure out which uh, inverter charger I'm going to go with for the shore power but for where it's at right now to get the fan working I want to show you so this is coming from the house battery here that's uh, on the A side of the charging relay. That is then going to my eight fuse panel box that I got um, off of Amazon. And then down here, grounded, you can see, grounded to the van is, oh look, oh, pull focus, nice. Just using the phone, this thing sucks actually. Sorry about all this. Then if you get way down here, what you're seeing is uh, all the negative, all the grounding for uh, the other side of the 12 volt system. So that guy is grounded to the inside of the seat with the grounding bolts that come stock. Um, and I'm going to run everything through one of the holes down here and split up what's going to be power and what's going to be ground uh, to the two respective bars and see if we can get the fan working. Now right now I'm just going to hook up the wires without running it through to see if we can get power to the fan. Now, of course, power is the black, the ground is the white. Well, everything else in this van so far has been, power has been black, or I'm sorry, ground has been black, and power has been red. So for the fan, I'm gonna keep that going. What I'm gonna do is everything ground is gonna be black as I start to hook up lights and things that come into the van later um, and other 12 volt sockets and things like that, USB. But I'm gonna color code everything else differently for the different segments that run out. So when I see a set of wires, I can kind of know, oh, okay, cool, this is the fan is red. Uh, maybe the lights are blue, something like that. So. The fan's working, awesome, I'm going to pull the fuse and then run the wires through the van, zip tie some things a bit, and uh, lock her up. Step fan is hooked up and working. Alright, so as I said, I was going to use a grommet down there in one of the pre-drilled factory holes. That's where I'll run my wires through for right now. Um, and originally when someone installed, or I guess my dad had somebody install the backup camera, they had just run the wire through here. So for now, until I get ready to do my siding, I'm just going to run it right here. Uh, we'll see kind of what that looks like. I might just have to be able to do something like that and run it. So we'll play around with it and see what happens. Again, this doesn't need to be final right now because most likely I'm going to get some longer four gauge wire 
and run all my fuse boxes down here underneath and put the inverter charger down here so a little bit of refactoring that's going to have to happen but again i just kind of wanted to get this thing going and start playing around with it because honestly that's part of the whole learning process this is when you cry i finally got it fished up through there and then i realized brian didn't run it through the grommet down here what a goober Woohoo! got the fan working well, hope you guys have been enjoying a look at kind of the moto van build. I'm still here in the Sprinter. It's hot in Texas. I think it's 100-something degrees today. But got to get the work done, so just got to stay at it. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions about what I did, definitely uh, ask them in the comments. If you've enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys subscribe to keep following along with the adventure. I do put out riding videos, but if you saw the post on Instagram, for why I have not been putting out any riding videos, it's because of the infection in my leg. So, if you want to see that, go check it out. And uh, the question was, do people want to see a video of the progress that I've gone through uh, with that leg infection? And the, the consensus is yes. So get ready to be on the lookout for a lot of pictures and video of what I have been going through for the past two, two and a half months with my leg and the infection there. So thanks again. Again, one of the things about this for me is a learning experience. So if you see anything that you think I did wrong that you would do differently or links to ways that you think I could do a better job by having watched a video, Put all of that in the comments. I want your feedback. Follow on Instagram, all of that stuff. Um, I want to make sure that, one, I have fun and I learn a lot while doing this, and two, create a cool-ass motor van for Liam and I to go ride together in. So, yeah, follow along. Remember to always enjoy a pint full of awesome, and we'll see you on the Internet.